actually a funny story. I basically got started on the Funko Pops off of you. Really? Yeah. How are you doing today? Oh, you watch YouTube channel? Absolutely. Nice, man. man. I'm John. What's your name? Mike. Mike, nice, nice to meet you, you. man. You got a cool booth. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, just started getting in and moving stuff around. Nice. The Funko's doing good for you? It's not been too bad. Yeah. I mean, like I said, but it just depends on the pricing market. Right. <laughs> We get on this. I got twenty a piece on them, but I meant for you did thirty bucks. Um, I'll just give you the twenty a piece, man. That's fine. Sure? Yeah. Appreciate it. Oh yeah, if you, uh, yeah, you got a bag, that'd be great. Pops, uh, I just kind of have clearance out. Uh, okay. I was doing like five a piece on them, but I wanted to grab all six of them. I'd do like twenty-five bucks for all six. You know what? Sure, I'll take them. <laughs> so I'm up to sixty-five. Just out and about today. Yeah. Awesome. I kind of rotate between the three, um, Treasure Isles, Trader's World, and Caesars Creek. Mm -hmm. I haven't been to Treasure Isles in months, so it's like... some garage sales. Oh, me too, man. <laughs> we keep getting teased with this weather. Right, right. It's yeah. warm for a couple days, and then it's just cold again. Can you do any better on your mosaic football megas? Uh, <laughs> probably be able to go to like 90 on that and 85 on that, but... I'll take them both. Take them both? Yeah. Here's the 65 for those. Oh, absolutely. Maybe nice. another 175. Yeah, actually, it's a funny story. I basically got started on the Funko Pops off of you. Really? Yeah. No kidding. You, you did a, a thing. You walked up the steps and then you had like three rooms. Yeah. And there was just Funko Pops everywhere. Yeah, it was a sale. Yeah, it's yeah, on my shop. It was, it was a good, it was a really good sale. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to try to give these a try. Yeah. And I started no way. a collection. That's crazy. Yeah, and then. I mean, I do video games and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. And it was like, well, I'm running out of room in the house. Yeah. So, well, let's try this. That's out. wild, man. <laughs> yeah, so actually, like my first big pop buy was. Yeah, cool. that's so, so crazy. It was, it, was, it was a pleasure yeah. meeting you, man. Yeah, pleasure meeting you too. Good luck with everything. Thank you. So I'm gonna go run these back to the car. Well. Thanks. What are you asking on this? Um, honestly, I don't. I'll do like fifteen bucks. I don't even know how much it's worth. I have no clue. Did you go ten? Sure. Okay, thank you. He's not here today, so I can't. He probably doesn't even remember we have it. Uh, <laughs> you probably want to open it up and make sure that's in there. It looked like it was. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. Thank, thank you. you. you Is your Coca-Cola uh, red sign for sale? Uh, the Jay Bruce. Yeah. Right there, yeah, it is. It's kind of hit back away. It is. Yeah. What are you asking for it? Thirty. Thirty bucks. Yeah. Let's take a look at it. Yeah. It's in good shape too. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. It's got a signature at the bottom. Yeah, I'll buy it. Okay. Tell you what, I'll keep looking around, see what else I can find, but I'll definitely take it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We got in your glove. Uh, 25 on that. 25? Yeah, that's an old one. Oh my god, it's just shocking. think on that. I'll keep looking around. Oh, okay. Yeah, you get a good deal. What are you asking on that wrestling sign over there? Sorry, what? I didn't mean to interrupt, no, I'm no, sorry. Okay. I just couldn't figure it out. Uh, that, that wrestling sign? I have 25 on that. That's old. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's probably 40 years old. I'll do the sign for 30, and then if you can go 20 a piece on this and the glove, I'd buy them both. Uh, let me see. The glove is 20. Let's see. So it'd be 20, 40, 
and thirty, be seventy bucks. You doing cash? Yeah, do cash. Okay, that's good. All right, I appreciate you. There's 70. Okay, perfect. Yeah. I appreciate you. Thanks yeah, so much. Yeah, no problem. What's going on, guys? So the other day I went to two flea markets. I started out at Treasure Isles and then I went to Traders World. If you guys are familiar with the area, they're actually only like a mile apart from each other. So it just made sense to go ahead and hit them both. Found some pretty cool stuff. Got it all pulled out. I'm gonna show you guys what I bought. All right, so here's what I got. I actually ran into Mike at the first uh booth that I went to, and he had some Funko Pops. Um, let's see, we got Garth and Wayne from Wayne's World, uh, Dwight Schrute, we've got Six from Seinfeld, and Ron Swanson from Parks and Rec. I've been collecting Funko Pops more here lately, so these are all for me to keep. I just thought they were pretty cool, and Mike was giving me a good deal on them, so I went ahead and bought those. He also had some uh, football boxes. He had two Megas of um, Mosaic, and I bought the pair of those for $175, and I've been doing breaks on Whatnot recently with uh, basketball, baseball, football cards. So if you guys wanna check that out, I'll put a link down below in the description. At another booth, I picked up this Topps Holiday Mega Baseball Box for 40 bucks. And I also got 12 packs of Absolute Football. I'll use these as like giveaways or freebies, something like that when I'm doing some uh, football breaks. I got this Big Mouth Larry Lobster in the packaging. It still had all the original packaging inside too. Had some box damage right there. And I got it for 10 bucks. They're selling anywhere from like 30 to 60 bucks. And you know, without pulling it out and putting batteries in it and everything, I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on it, but there's a little bit of money to be made on that. Got this old glove. This is an old Rawlings. The model is T70. I could not make out the name. There's a signature on here of like who the player was, but it's in pretty rough shape. I like buying old ball gloves because sometimes there's some money in them, but I paid $20 for this one. I only saw one sold comp at like $30. I didn't look it up when I bought it. I just was kind of shooting from the hip on this one. So I'm not sure that I'll make much money on this, if any. I might just break even or lose on it a little bit. But if nothing else, it's a cool glove to pick up. Um, I don't know, I might just keep it. Might look good just sitting on the shelf. Same guy I got the glove from, I got this killer looking wrestling poster. This is Big Time Wrestling. This was an event in Middletown, Ohio. He was guessing it was from the 80s, which kind of makes sense. Uh, we got Porky Pig, Ben Justice, uh, tag team match, Lou Klein and the Hungarian. Tickets only uh, four bucks for ringside or three dollars for general admission. I saw some soul comps of these between like 60 and 100 bucks, but those were in very, very good condition. This one is really, really rough. It's got tears all over. It's got some staining going on down here. It's just, it's just beat up. It's in rough shape, but I really like it. I'm just going to hang it on the wall here at the shop. I think it's pretty cool. Just an awesome looking poster. So I went ahead and snagged that for 20 bucks. And last thing I got, I got from the same buyer actually, is this Jay Bruce cardboard cutout uh, Coca-Cola advertisement. This would have been in a gas station or grocery store or something like that. And there weren't that many of them, so these really don't come up for sale all that often. This one's not in the best shape. You know, there's some, some damage and peeling a little bit to some of the cardboard, but for $30, I had to pick it up. It's I hardly ever see these for sale and I thought so this would be something cool to uh, display here at the shop. Before I end this video I want to let you guys know I just picked up these Lego minifigures from a young man by the name of Matthew. He recently started selling on eBay and just started a YouTube channel as well uh, for his Funko Pop collecting. Matthew reached out to me on Instagram. Seems like a really good kid. So if you guys want to follow his YouTube channel I'll put a link down below in the description. That is it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.